All right, section four, non-pressurized tanker cars. Non-pressurized tanker cars are often the general super for the low-pressure tanker reserves used you to transportate wide regulated hazard material, dangerous goods, as well as non-regulated commodities. Class dot 111, 113, AR 206 and 211 are non-pressure tanker cars used to transport with regulated hazard material, dangerous goods, and non-regulated commodities. The most common non-pressure tanker cars are used today in class dot 111 and class AR 211. Class dot 111 tanker cars made of carbon and alloy stainless steel are required to have a minimum shell thickness of 7 16 of an inch that has been made of aluminum alloy required a minimum of seal thickness of one half inch of the 60 psi g tank for the pressure and 5 8 of an inch 100 psi g tank pressure regardless of the amount of material the construction of the class of the 111 tank car with a 60 psi g tank pressure are required to have the minimum burst pressure of 240 degrees psi g those that would have 100 psi g tank pressure are required to have the minimum burst pressure of 500 psi g note that the class dot 103 and 104 and the ar203 are distinguished by expansion domes on the top of the tank, not to be confused with the protective for housing, and may continue the service if they meet the applicable requirements of the Department of Transportation Hazard Material Regulation, Title 49, in effect for the September 30th, 2003. However, no new construction is authorized. Association of American Railroads Class 203W um, fusion welded tanker cars, similar to Class 103 tanker cars, are authorized for transportation of certain hazardous materials, dangerous goods due to their age, and few, if any, Class 103, 104, and 203 tanker cars remain in service. Are your class associated with Mar American Railroad 211 tanker cars are similar to class dot 111 tanker cars that certain expectations must be built according to the applicable to the Department of Transportation Transportation Com um, Com Canada specification specification AR 211A 100W1 or tanker car must be built with the requirements for the specification dot 111A 101 W1 tanker car. This remain um, the main difference between the AR tanker car and is the specification counterpart. The classification AR 211 tanker cars tank requires require only partial and post welded heat treatment at the time of the construction. Class dot 111 carbon alloy steel tanks welded attachments must be post welded heated treated to as a unit. The tanker car tanker must be made of, made of aluminum alloy and are not allowed to be post welded well heated treated. Class, classes AR 211 tanker, tank, tanker car tanks constructed with the carbon alloy steel do not require radioscopic examination of welded joints. However, the welded joints with aluminum tanks are, must be examined. Additional spe special fittings on the AR cars are to be meet the user needs. Non pressure cars have been low profile man weighed nozzles on the top of the tank equipped with a gas gated hinge. Bottled man weigh covered the, cover, um, the cover is open for the unloading and loading for access into the tank of the maintenance. Other styles of the man weigh co covers, such as those sulfuric, hydrochloric, Acid tanks are similar permanently attached to the man manway nozzle and or equipped with the smallest gasket hinged in the bottled fill hole with a cover that and is open with the loading and unloading. Loading and unloading fittings are typically located in the general area with the manway and often have closed with a hinge combination housing closed called protective housing the Department of Transportation Regulation, but are commonly called the bed box of the mailbox. Some of the down pressure tank of the cars may be equipped with the protective housing similar to those used in the pressure tank of cars to provide additional protection for the valves and fittings. On non pressure tank cars, the top mount of the loading and unloading equipment will usually include two or three in li inches liquid induction line located along the center of the tank. The liquid induction line consists of the liquid valve or other closure of the ed education or siphon pipe that extends to the bottom of the tank, and then education pipe may be extended into the sump. A sump is formed by the depression of the bowl into the bottom of the tank where the landing will drain and allow the more computer complete empty of the tank. There may also be a smaller induction line. Over typically a one inch call of the airline or air inlet vapor valve, but then used for the introduce the compressed air, acids, air, and nitrogen into the pressurized tank for the unloading through the liquid induction line. This device may also be used to vent the tank during loading and unloading. Other fittings may be included with the vacuum relief valve with one quarter inch sample line with a gauging device, a slip tube with a magnetic ball sow, and fixed length of the tail pipe with a control needle valve. The interior of the tank may be equipped with the outer gauge and a main way nozzle, man way, man way nozzle usually graduated graduated in inches of, of the out gauge. On the pressure tank um, cars in some services, the EG sulfuric acid like liquid education line or the airline fittings may not be have not have control valves because they are closed with the pipe that caps, plugs, or plying flanges. Pressure release, reducing devices or reclosing pressure relief valves and non reclosing safety vents may be attached to the top of the tank to separate the nozzle and attached to the manway cover of the pressure plate. 
So for the certain specification, non-pressurized tanks may be may equipped with the bottom outlet valve for the loading and unloading of these valves. Maybe ball wafer, or ball or wafer sphere or butterfly style valves that are operated from the beneath the car. They may also be plugged on the clapper style valves that are operated with the top of the tank. See page 38. The top operated bottom of the outlet valve has the valve at the bottom of the tank. The rod passes through the tank that connects with the stuffing box body with the top of the tank. The stuffing box body is equipped with a combination cover the branch with a T wrench and a cone used on the open and close the valve. Certification specification non pressure tank of the cars may be equipped with the bottom washout that can be removed and facilitate the cleaning of the tank's interior that is not used in loading, in, for in loading and unloading operation. Depending on their protection from the bottom of the tanker shell, bottom of the outlet, blind flange, washout, and some prefer to the bottom discontinues apply with the sub. Still ta sub still tank cars may be required to have this bottom fitting protection. Um, typically, the protection is provided with attaching skids at the bottom of the tank to protect the fitting of the event the day of derailment. So the non-pressurized tank cars are also equipped with skids to protect there from the top fittings. Non-pressure. Um, where was I? Non-pressure tanks may be having insulation, typically fiberglass, mineral wood planks, or foam applied over the tank and then closed with a metal jacket. For class dot one eleven fifteen and AR two six two zero six, the insulation applied between the inner and outer tank of the per regulation with the jacket may not be less than one eleven gauge thickness. Um, insulation is used with the moderate with the temperature of the landing during the temperature transportation, e.g., to, to keep the landing of the cooler warm, depending upon its characteristic season of the year, as is an aid for the heating of the product of the un for unloading. Non-pressurized tanks can be also equipped with the interior exterior heater coils prior to unloading the steam, hot water, and hot oil lines attached with the coil inlet outlets. The heating in the medium circulates through the coils and heats and liquid and melts and solidifies landing. And the um, phosphorus, sulfur, melt wax, and asphalt facilities unloading the interior heating and coil inlet outlet pipes are required to have the caps and plugs applied during the transportation. Exterior heating coil heater coils do not... Require caps. The car must be stenciled exterior heater pipes, you know, inlet or outlet pipe caps required. Some of the non pressure tanks are equipped with the electrical resistant heater set, um, systems and the heater coils. Non pressure single unit type of the tank cars may be divided into two compartments, inserting ellipsoid heads into the tanker shell. The heads must be concave with the landing of each of the compartment by its joints, separately and constructed the tanks to make a single car structure. Each of the compartment will have its own loading and unloading fittings of the pressure release device. These compartments must be identified numerically, beginning with the and with the B end at the end of the car with with a handbrake wheel. Compartment is necessary with one number consecutively toward the A end of the which without the brake wheel. Note that unlike ha ha highway cargo tanker cars, the tanker compartments are not constructed applying the interior walls within a single tank. Further, unlike some of the cargo tanks, tanker cars do not have interior baffles to control the la landing surges. Lading surges. Are your class dot one eleven fifteen and AR two zero six non pressurized tanks have interior co container tank construction with the carbon steel alloy stainless steel magnesium non moly bedium steel aluminum inner tank of the supported within the outer shell tank is not jacketed the annual special. The annular space between the inner tank and the outer tank contains insulation. These cars are commonly referred to as tanks within the tank. As the outer shell tank is constructed in the same manner as the tank of the car, the tank is, is it not merely a metal jacket covering an insulated tank. For class dot 11115 and I'm oh, sorry 111 uh, 115 cars of the outer tank may be fabricated with the same materials authorized by the inner tanks it must be at least 7 and 16 of an inch thick for the class A or 206 the cars of the outer tank must be fabricated with carbon steel they must be divided into compartments having the 60 psi G tank pressure additional loading and unloading pressure relief devices they must be equipped with the bottom outlet without and, and or bottom washout these tank cars are norm normally used in transportation temperature sensitive commodities requiring high efficiency insulation systems all right uh, let me like zoom in on this all right um, the top shows the multiple housing nozzle covers 75 percent number 75 or um, safety valve man weighs 670 75 safety valve top grading of 12.5 12 and a five and a half feet and four four inch interval bottom outlet valve 110 inch inside diameter 17 inch thick um, and it shows the truck center over strikes and a couple of lengths Capacity and weight and non net capacity at the 2% outage of 29.348 gallons. Estimated lightweight 667,000 pounds. Railroad load limit 1,000 1, ton trucks or 263,000 pounds. Commodity maximum density truck capacity 100, 100, 100 tons. Wheelbase 5.5, 10, 5, 5 foot by 10 inches. Non commonly called it 
weight of the gallon is 6.68 .6, hashtag. All right, your dot number for alcohol and methanol um, services, and then 29.947 gallon capacity, not insulated. Copyright General American Transportation Co Corporation reprinted with permission. No, the, um, com, no, clam, 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 no, no nomenclature used in the illustration may not also be consistent with that used in the text of the field guide. And I'm going to go back to... And then we're going to zoom in on this. All right, um, 62 is a steed spat. All right, 112 is a handrail. 114 is the ladder side. 211 is the corner pilot. 213 support bracket. 215 platform grading. 255 support safety valve assembly. 339 manway cover. 315 manway ring. 451 auto skid um, coating. Another picture. All right, shows the uh, 916th of an inch tank, the truck centers, overstrikes, and coupled lengths, drip ledge, skid washout, top of the grating, the safety valve and the vent, oh, quick opening fill hole, two inch discharge stripe, air connection, drip ledge, and your um, side B end over grabs. All right, your capacity, normal capacity, estimated limit weight, railroad limited weight, 100 tons, 510, 16.25, sulfuric acid, 13,946 gallon capacity, non-insulated version 2. All right, you have th 32 is your eye bolt, 11, 12 is the handrail, 211 is the corner post, 213 support bracket, 215 platform grading, 263 um, safety vent assembly, 276 air connecting valve, 292 washing pipe, washout plug, 250 flu fluid man nozzle, 377 88 eight inch fill hole cover, 406 wash nozzle figure, 453 bit pipe guide, um, 454 adduction pipe, 458 pipe cap, 459 tilt tail pipe plug and chain, 463 L. Elbow 464, anti skid coating 719 O ring 723 gasket. Um, loading and unloading arrangement for the top operation platform of sulfuric acid cars. Are your gallon insulated, non insulated cars um, for high load hydrochloric acid service? Um, Oh yeah, here's your grade around the the valve. Um, a hundred uh, number hundred safety valve air connection, two and a half inch discharge connection, quick open fill hole, dripper ledge, top grading skid deep and slump, and a hundred ten inch and about hundred ten quarter inch uh, inch diameter, seven inch tank, three and three sixteen inch rubber liner, truck liner overstrikes and coupled lengths, overgrade B end of the car. All right, your um. Loading and unloading arrangement for the dot 111A 100W5 welding fission 5 rubber rubber line cars. 16 is a segmental washer, 32 is an eye bolt assembly, 141 is a sump, 161 is a supply safety chain, 261 is a safety vent housing, 262 is a safety vent ho nozzle, 339 is a manway cover plate, um, 350 is a fu fluid manway nozzle, 377 is a fill hole cover, 379 um, is an unloading pipe adapter, 380 is an unloading connector blind flange 381 is a discharge pipe 451 is a um, 451a is a air connection flange 451b is a discharge pipe flange 453 is a discharge pipe guide all right your six inch bottom internal type at the bottom outlet arrangement and top iron inter internal guide you have one a hexagonal bolt, stud, stud bolt, stuffing box, body, stuffing box, cover the outlet, nozzle extension, outlet, nozzle cover, operating rod polished, 155 post flange, 157 operating rod screw uh, socket, 158 operating screws, 161 safety chain, 315 collar pin, 372 seal plug, uh, seal pin, through 459 pipe plug, 606 with that, your flange, 694 outlet valve, top of the guide, 723 gasket view, valve seat Teflon, 727 packing material Teflon, Chevron, um, 728 packing gland and stainless steel. All right, your six inch pot is an internal type of the jacketed bottom outlet arrangement top of the operated external guide. 
Three is a hexagon note. Um, thirty nine is a stud bolt. Eighty four is a stuffing box body. Three eight. 85 is a stuffing box cover, 145 is a seam jacket outlet nozzle, 149 is an outlet nozzle cap, 154 is an operated rod, 155 is a post flange, 157 an operating rod socket, 158 operating screw, 150, 160 outlet nozzle reducer, 161 safety chain, 315 cutler, cutter, cutter pin, 327 um, seal pin, 452 pipe, heel, pipe nipple, 458 pipe cap, 459 pipe plug, 606 adapter flange, 694 outlet box. 727 packaging material and 728 packaging gla packing gland. Or your bottom outlet with, with the skid protection. All right, you have your ball and your seals to the ball, and then around the body, on the, ta the underneath the tanker shell with a cast sheet steel saddle. The shearing plan, plane with the nozzle and the cap and the lock pin for the handle in the opening position. Shaded area is the area of illustration indicates the valve moving parts. All right, and an internal ball valve. Valve O handled and closed in position to illustrate a purpose. All right, at the top you have your ball, your body, your seals, um, your tank sh shell, the steam, the steam cavity, um, a handle, a locking pin, a nozzle, and a jacketing and a cap. Or your jam berries, posse seal, bottom external butterfly type valve. Your typical bottom washout arrangements, washout plug with uncoated unaligned car, washout plug with a chemical coated car, welded enclosure plate, washout plug with a rubber lined car. Or your pressure relief valves, your internal valves, starting at the left, um, going down the line. Um, A, top guide, B, valve steam, C, O-rings, D, seal, E, body, F, F, mounting flange, G, gasket, H, spring, I, spring guide, and J, adjusting nut. To the left of your external valve, a cap, a, a cap, B, top nut, C, adjusting screw, D, top guide, E, seal, F, fowler, G, stem, H, spring, I, guide, J plug O ring, K retainer, 11 seat O ring, and M plug and N body. All right, this shows the um, the aligned exterior heating coil with the similar system connections at the bottom outlet. All right, you have your bar support, steam jacket outlet, nozzle, cradle bar, um, your coil pipes, coil return bend, and piping cap. Or your 10 liter 2P, 2T serpent manifold half oval outside co coil posted in 1974. 102 is split slabbing. 279A is 8.5 inch oval outside coil. 279B is 5.5 inch, 5 inches full um, half oval outside coil. 450 co coil inlet nozzle. 452B coil outlet nozzle. Um, 606 outlet flange adapter. All right, section five, pressure, pressurized tank cars.